Hey, this is Joe Van Cleve and I am an office supply junkie. Well, sometimes it's not enough that you go out and buy office supply materials in an uncontrolled fashion, but sometimes you have to actually make your own office supply gadgets. Look what I have here. So this is nothing new. Uh, you go to Pinterest or any of those other kind of websites and you'll see a lot of different variations on this. But this is basically my own three different designs of a two and a quarter inch wide adding machine paper, cash register paper, uh, notepad holder, if you will. And it represents three different designs in the evolution of this idea. Let's start on the left. Um, so this one is made from a piece of plywood and it's fairly well polished or sanded not perfectly by any woodworking standards but close enough um, and what I wanted to do with this design is see if I could use off-the-shelf hardware materials to hold to figure out a way to hold this roll paper roll in place and what I ended up doing is using these eye bolts with a fender washer, a large flathead bolt. The other side of it has a nylock quarter 20 thumb screw, another eye bolt, and then the end of the uh, eye bolt is threaded into these round knobs that act as feet. And of course, there's some washers and lock washers that hold it together. And uh, I also am using a little brass tube that's wired around the base of these two bolts with some copper wire and that kind of acts as a roller for the paper to wrap itself around underneath here and then I have two strips of brass with some little spacer washers underneath them so the paper can slip underneath the strips and it holds the paper nice and secure there. Um, on the back side I have some adhesive craft felt just to kind of cover it up. Um, nothing fancy but it works okay. Uh, one weakness of this design that I wasn't really super happy with was the fact that the wood, the plywood, uh, is, if you press really hard with a pen, it will make a little mark in the plywood. So you got to be kind of careful not to press super hard. And I keep this on my desk, and so I've tethered a pen, a Bic 1.6 millimeter Bic Crystal Blue, I've tethered it with a piece of actually dental floss um, to this, so I always have a pen with it. So that was kind of my first evolution of the design. So to take the paper roll off, you simply put a quarter or a coin in this slot here and to keep the bolt from turning, and then you can uh, undo the uh, lock nut, the locking wing nut, and replace the paper. So that was the first generation. The second generation was a lot cleaner of a design. So it's a piece of oak plywood and two support pieces that are glued to the base. And the way this works is I have um, a notch cut in this, the ends of the base for these two pieces to fit in here. And then to hold the paper roll in place, what I'm using on this is I'm using a 3 8 diameter aluminum tube that fits really snugly inside of this hole and you just use something like the end of a pen cap or whatever to push that tube out if it comes time to change out the paper. Otherwise it stays right in there. It's kind of a nice clean design. I have a brass rod running through all the way through from one side to the other and then there is a slightly larger brass tube that rides on that rod as a little as a little bearing. It kind of like a little bearing and the paper rolls underneath that rod, that tube, and yes we need cheddar cheese. It's my wife's note. This is the my wife's um, notepad holder in the kitchen. And of course it has the brass strip with a little spacer underneath it so the paper can slide real nicely. And uh, I have uh, adhesive craft felt on the bottom to make it uh, it probably would have been better with adhesive craft foam or some kind of rubber material because on a hard countertop that felt does slip a little bit. Uh, again, the only downside I see to this design is really the fact that this oak plywood is a slightly uneven surface because of the grain of it. And also if you press really hard with the ballpoint you can gouge the wood. So 
it's not really a super hard writing surface, but it has a nice, clean, modern design. I really like it. So that's the second one. And then um, I was brainstorming some ideas for how to modify, how to modernize this design and go to one step further. Let's look at the evolution of this uh, this design. And I actually was using this notepad and started brainstorming a bunch of sketches. Let me let me go through and show you some of these. So the first thing I thought about is at the at the base of uh, the pad, I would like to have a roller, like some kind of a bracket with a brass tube and another tube that fits over it that rolls so the paper can roll around it and uh, some kind of feet like this and I wanted to have maybe the upright like that and I was even thinking of ways to run the paper underneath it and back up. Here is another idea for using it so it's slanted uh, and at a bevel so you can write a little bit easier and the support feet in the back are sort of uh, trapezoidal shape and the paper comes through around a little tube as a bearing underneath a, a brass plate and underneath a brass plate here and then I kind of uh, cleaned up the design and made the support legs a little thinner and then I made them even shorter and this one was was an idea where I was going to put the paper roll more along the axis of the paper roll more even with the, the wooden plate like that so it looks a little bit cleaner Again, another evolution of that same idea with a tr sort of a trapezoidal base. And here's another one. And yet another one. This one is going to use a slot in the top for a, a, a wooden dowel to fit down into. And then I finally have this one more like a wedge shape uh, with the, uh, a dowel going through it or a rod going through it. A little roller here for the paper to roll underneath it. And I was going to have the paper wrapping around from behind and go around the metal tube that rolls and come down like that. And then another variation on the wedge idea with the little notches in the top and a little wooden dowel or a brass tube that where the roller roll of paper just fits down inside there like that. And then let's go to the next idea which was um, I was going to take two 90 degree angle brackets, metal brackets you buy at the hardware store. Screw them into the end of the wood, have a brass plate here, and you have my bolt with wing nut. And then I was going to have rubber feet like that. And here you can see that I'm, I'm using this idea where the notepad the, or the roll of paper is in line with the uh, plate. Here is an idea for having a bracket on the end with a notch cut in it and having an axle with two little machine screws and this little gap in here will fit down into these notches so you can just sit the paper down into it. This was a wider version. Uh, it was kind of more of a wide tablet version with rounded corners. Same idea. This time I'm using uh, some kind of a brass tube with a knob that fits through a hole. And then this is a little more detail on that. I'm using a, a metal tube as a bushing and then a brass rod and a nut soldered to it. Uh, and then this was a little bit more of a cleaner design. So you have the roll of paper in line with the plate and just a little feet coming down. Here's variations on the shape of that. You can make it wide up here and narrower down here. Or you can make it with little notches cut down here in the ends of it. And you can put the straight metal brackets that you get at the hardware store, but you got to drill extra holes for them. Or you can get 90 degree angle brackets and, the, and these serve as the feet. Or you can even get T brackets and it's a little more secure and also has the feet. So out of all of those ideas, I also had to balance the fact that what kind of materials did I have around the house and was I willing to go buy something else at the hardware store or just use whatever I had. So first of all, to address the problem of the writing surface not being hard enough, I have a whole box of this uh, laminate flooring, uh, like Pergo style laminate flooring, which has a layer of plastic on it. And then there is like a, a very fine grained MDF kind of wood layer underneath it with plastic underneath that. 
I glued that to a piece of uh, scrap plywood that I had, half inch plywood laying around, and I made it uh, sort of U-shaped with a square, a rectangular hole up here in the top. And then what I did is I drilled a hole in these two side pieces and let me show you this here. I have two metal brass tubes inserted in there that acts as bushings and the axle I'm using is a brass rod and the, the handle for the brass rod is a brass ferrule that's used in a quarter inch compression fitting for a water line. So it basically goes through like that and this is the little knob you pull if you want to remove it but this is the axle for the paper. We have a brass plate here with spacers underneath it for your gap for the paper and the same idea down below a brass plate with spacers and these are brass brads and then on the bottom in the back side I'm using adhesive craft foam. So this stuff is much more rubbery and grippy on the countertop. It won't slide around. And then I have these two feet. These are 1024 screws. I have the holes in the wood are actually tapped for 1024 with some nuts and these rubber little feet that I got at the hardware store. So it supports itself like that and uh, keeps the rubber or the paper roll, I should say, from rubbing on the, uh, on the surface there underneath it. So here it is with the roll of paper threaded in it. Now I did include a little cutout here for your finger so you can pull the paper through, but I don't think it was a great idea because when it comes time to tear the paper off, you end up with this little V-shaped kind of notch in the bottom of the paper. And it was just an idea that sometimes it's difficult to thread the paper through. You know, it's nice to have a little opening in there, but it, it does make the tear a little rough. So I might, you have to tear it down otherwise, which is not a great idea either. I think if I remade this, I would just have it straight across without this notch here. But it's a nice design. It's a nice clean design. I have the roll of paper pretty much in line with the body of the, of the wooden plate. It's nice, clean, and modern, lower profile, slightly angled, um, and I like the little brass tube uh, rod, I mean, and the knob handle for uh, securing the roll as an axle. And uh, yeah, it's worked out really well. So uh, every time I think about making one of these, I sit down and I start sketching more ideas for more of these paper roll notepad holders. So if I attempt to make a future design, an update from even these three, I think the next idea I have is going to be around the idea of the direction that you write. So when you have the roll going from the top to the bottom, uh, let's say you start here and you start writing and you find out that you ran out of space. You only have this much paper. Well, the solution to that, one of the solutions is you start writing on the bottom and you, and you write your lines in reverse order up so you have as much paper as you need. Uh, but it's kind of unconventional to write from the bottom up. And so another idea that you might want to consider is to run the paper from the back of the machine uh, underneath it around to the front and then through the two guides like that. Now I didn't design this to be used in that way and as you can see it's hard for the paper to go around this corner. You need some metal tubes as rollers to help facilitate it but I think the next design that I work on is going to have a facility for a paper or a metal strip to hold the paper underneath here and then a, a maybe another one here and then a couple roller tubes and two more plates so you can actually write from the top down and the paper will advance itself like that. That'll be probably my next evolution in this in this uh, series. Anyway just an idea for you guys if you have any inklings of being a do-it-yourselfer and you think you might like to uh, try your hand at building one of these. These are three different design ideas for a paper roll notepad holder. And until next time, this is Joe Van Cleve and I am an office supply junkie.